Hello everyone, Daisy here with a fun new layout. This one I created for um, Paige Evans. She asked if I wanted to be her April guest designer and I of course said yes. Um, I was able to choose from her cut files on her, the Silhouette Design Store. And for this first one, I am working with the folded circle cut file. So, <clears throat> excuse me, what this does is it cuts out a circle with perforated um, little fold lines and then you fold them and you create this kind of square effect. Um, and I am actually turning them on, them on their sides and creating these diamond pattern. And I used two papers, one from Take Me Away, one from Horizon. And it's the papers that Paige has where it's like little swatches of all of the other patterns in the collection. And they're like two by two squares, so they fit perfectly um, for this folded circle design and so I used a whole bunch of them and I cut them out and now I'm placing them down in kind of pattern or not pattern rainbow order. I did fold them differently so that the pattern was on the inside of some of them and then on the outside of others just to kind of I don't know give it a little different look and then I, I didn't quite have enough to go in that upper right hand corner so I'm using just rainbow stripes up there. Um, there is a few different squares that were like rainbow stripes and so I chose to just put them up in the corner by themselves. I did do some machine stitching around this layout and I used um, again rainbow colors thread going all the way around just a straight stitch and I did try to do it a little bit sloppy so that they weren't like right on top of each other um, and you could kind of see that they were there. These labels are from a pink paisley paper from the memorandum collection and it was just a whole sheet of labels and I just cut them off again using rainbow colors. And then I also fussy cut all those sequins off of, um, it was out of the Take Me Away paper pad. So one of those papers was completely covered in sequins and so I fussy cut a whole bunch of them and then popped them up on some foam squares. And now I pulled out the um, whimsical and I think the pick me up puffy stickers and I'm going to pull a few of um, like that rainbow heart is off the whimsical one. I'm going to use a couple of other ones too here coming up. But first I'm going to back my photos and my photos are my two daughters and they're playing with my older daughter's um, makeup kits and let me tell you they sure know how to use color so I figured a rainbow layout was perfect to show off their um, like the makeup palettes and things like that because they are they have a lot of fun doing their makeup. So the paper I'm using is from the Horizon collection and it has these little I guess like plus signs on it. I like to call them um, little twinkle spots because that's what they look like to me is like in cartoons when something's twinkling they have kind of the same shape so whatever you want to call them I guess um, and again it's a rainbow color order on there and I am I mean I'm just using a little bit of it but I wanted to have a little bit of pattern behind the photos but I also wanted to use some white because the photos are pretty dark um, and so I wanted to kind of brighten it up a little bit so I'm just going to get those situated and then I am going to pop them up on some foam as well because those folded circles are a little bit dimensional and so I wanted them to lay flat with that. And I'm just playing around here because I wanted to make a little bit more room. I wanted my photos to kind of bridge the gap in the middle between the two sides and so I was just trying to work it out so I didn't um, cover any of those beautiful little diamond shapes. And that's how that is going to go. <clears throat> and I'm just going to move the you know little sequins around and now I'm going to add this rainbow um, scallop strip from the puffy stickers. 
And then I'm going to add a couple of little pieces here. There's some hearts and some flowers and I think some stars and then a couple of dragonflies or bows or something like that. Um, and I'm just trying to match them up in kind of, you know, color order so that they, they all coordinate together. And I'm just trying to decide if there's anything else I wanted to add. There were a few of the stars on the um, Pick Me Up puffy sticker sheet that I wanted to use. So I pulled those off. <clears throat> and now I think I'm going to start working on my title. So I'm going to be using the two tiny thickers. Um, one of them I think came with the Pick Me Up collection and the other one is from Whimsical I believe and um, so I'm going to be using these white foam ones and I had to go find my other packages of these. I ha actually have three um, because I was out of some of the letters I needed and this is going to be a longer title for me. So I was kind of trying to come up with a title um, and I wanted something to do with rainbow in it and so I went on Pinterest which is my go-to for finding titles and I just typed in rainbow quotes and came up with this one and it's just try to be a rainbow in someone else's day and so I'm using the white foam thickers for um, the try to be and then I'm using the rainbow ones to spell out rainbow, obviously. <clears throat> and of course, I'm going to fuss around with these because I really just need to get a T-square ruler, I think. Um, I used to have like this tiny, cheap plastic one that kids use for school, and I loved it, and it was like perfect for titles like this because I could line it up and everything, but um, I lost it, so. But I'm thinking maybe I'll get a T-square ruler because this is just, it would make it a lot easier, I think. And then um, I'm also going to use the pink, um, the pink thickers that are on the other side of the rainbow ones for the last word of the title. And then that's pretty much going to be it. So I want to thank you so much for watching. Um, if you are interested in learning more about the supplies I use, you can head on over to Paige's blog because there will be um, a supply list over there. Also links to the cut files that I use will be down in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye!